Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the Big Bash League and it's for the game between the Renegades and the Hurricanes. And the game's going to happen at the Dockland Stadium. We have Nikhil Bhai with us today to tell you who are the few bowlers that you can drop because it's good. it's expected to be yet another kind of game with the Renegades in the play. Bilkul, you see, openers are coming off. Uh, so one opener, Jim Kille, Sahab, coffee time, se pray kar rahe. Kya pata, aaj, ya ye wo game ho, jahan pe wo opener chal jaye. So let's see. Because if Callum Joel can hit two fifties, I'm very positive about life now. So yes, let's go. Yes. So let's have a look at first up what you can expect from the venue, the Docklands. Yep. So the best part about discussing venue conditions when we come to this ground is that you don't have to discuss the weather because it's one of the roofed grounds and uh, it's also pretty batting friendly and it's one of those grounds where Aaron Finch has a consistently good record, a word that you don't uh, necessarily associate in terms of consistency with him. But this is that ground where you can find good form from him and apart from that good batting conditions but we've also seen a low score here too with the other hurricanes outings so you cannot say too much with the venue conditions and you also know that we don't get access to any pre-show here in india with the bbl so yep. will be tricky to call nikhil by good batting conditions or you feel otherwise i think good batting conditions but bbl hasn't seen the best of batting uh again uh, the point with Callum Jewel, Callum Jewel was that he was making good runs, which is surprising because he didn't do that before. I think he got 250s in 34 games, 450s in 34 games and 4 from 2 last 2 games. Mein. So again, they are changing stuff because they were making short runs. So you can understand why they are trying that. Aur aapko, at least the one takeaway from that experiment is that you are showing that Jewel will take risk. Lege. So then, you hmm. visualization ka hissa hona chahiye wo, kyunki pura tournament aap dekhein to aisa ho raha jahan pe lesser known players are starting to have a major role or a major impact, if not a major role. So that is something aap control aapke hath mein to nahi hai, but agar aap visualize kar rahe ho, multiple combinations hum isi liye banane ke, ke liye kehte hain, so that aap ye sab zhen mein rakke fir apni ek team banai, jo shayad <coughs> zyada scenarios cover kar sakai. Yes, absolutely. So let's look at what we have in terms of the base team and how you can round it up in a good way. So this is what our base team looks like in the keeping section. We've gone with Matthew Wade, Sam Harper looks in no kind of touch, but he's a good grand league pick to try for the day that he comes off. Yeah. In the batting section, Ben McDermott, Aaron Finch and Tim David. Caleb Joel won't have it easy against Mujib, Akil, and Tom Rogers also in top form. So, and we've yeah. also seen that he's going to go short a ball. So it's not going to be easy to sustain in terms of fantasy value. If it comes off, you know it looks good. But yes, yeah. like Nikhil Bhai said, there'll be more than one risk taken. So hence you have tried to go with the most stable options. And Tim David, you saw also was the fifth bowler for the team. So that will be useful for you, even though he bats lower. And in the all-rounders, we have gone with Akil Hosan. Nikhil Bhai, any thoughts on any other guys you want to pick? Mitch Owen, Will Sutherland, any other players in here? I think Sutherland is a decent option. Hai, pehle bowling karte uh, par again, aapko, aapka visualization sahi se aisa karna I thought uh, jo ki pichli game thi, it looked very off, which, which can happen with any, with, with, with any side. Aapne dekha, hmm. jo, both teams had a off day with the ball in that uh, particular game, but I don't see that happening again. Uh, but again, if top lanes ka venue run support kar raha hai, to Will Sutherland is an option. Hai. Even Mitchell Ovan, I think, the game last road on the game before the last one. So hmm. he can always, Sean about came on and took two wickets in the last road. Joe over Hona Cheta, Hayden Kerka, but Hayden Kerka didn't get the ball. So if your visualization is going on, if you have a last match, you can try it. Mm-hmm. So, bowling first, better option to try as opposed to maybe bowling second. So, yes, you can back to the visualization. Okay, and uh, two more thoughts here. As far as the bowling is concerned, we have left no option as far as the teams that played the last game, uh, both the teams in their last playing 11s. 
and uh, the good part with both these teams is that at least till the, in the last few games they've come out only with five main bowling options so yeah. <laughs> that reduces one headache for you because you yeah. saw tim david was used only when mitchell owen got absolutely yes. gobsmacked and uh, with renegades i don't think there's any other six bowling option except for maybe yeah. aaron finch. finch so practically both your six bowling options are covered as your also best batting options so yeah that is one positive for you to see another consideration for you to have would be david moody the last game that mm. the hurricanes had versus the renegades david moody took three wickets and he also bowled that jaffer to get caleb joel bowled yeah. so that can be one consideration for you to make but if both these teams go with the same combinations as they have till now if you look at our preview team we have covered at least seven bowling options for you and you can potentially cover a eighth if you are confident on leaving any one of these batters. Obviously, it will be fraught with risk. But uh, if you feel like Aaron Finch is coming in the middle order and he's going to again mm. come in under too much of pressure, then that is a call for you to take, especially in a chase. But apart from that, we feel like we have covered the key bowling options. The only option that is really left here is Will Sutherland, Mitch Owen and Fahim Ashraf. None of these guys have looked in great form till now, but they're probably situational picks. Like Mujibur Rahman, mm-hmm. while bowling first, has not been taking many wickets. So maybe in that case, you can take someone yeah. like Will Sutherland. And same goes for Fahim Ashraf if you feel like while bowling first, he'll come off. But yes, we've tried to cover all the form bowling options. Fawad Ahmed big squad mein add hai, to again, kaun khelta hai, kitne bowlers ke saath khel rahe hai, wo dekhna kaafi bad. And also, I think, this should be the last game that Akhil and Muji play. So, very interested to see who is used where. Uh, that is also important for you. Because if Akhil is bowling on the to Joel and Ad Ben, so again, it could be a threat to both of them. Because Akhil has gone wicketless for a while now, which you don't usually see very accurate. And he can take wickets often as well. So, he doesn't do that before. But क्योंकि ये ये गेम में आपके पास देखें तो बोलिंग में तो इससे ज्यादा बोलर का पिक नहीं कर पाओगे अब तक किसी भी पे तो हमने सब वो ऑप्शन यहां पे यूज कर लिया तो मेरे हिसाब से द गेम इज गुड फॉर मिनी जेल्स ओनली एंड नॉट एज मच फॉर योर स्मॉल लीग्स बिकॉज़ द डिफरेंशियल्स आर गोइंग टू बी योर प्रीडोमिनेंटली योर कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन मेजरली क्योंकि बहुत कम चेंजेस आपको दिखेंगे सभी के टीम में मोस्ट विल कम विद द सिक्स बोलिंग ऑप्शंस एक प्लेयर ऊपर नीचे होगा कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन भी उसी में से होगा तो if you are confident enough, please go ahead and play small league. But we think that the risk is risk high. Is that the risk is high. 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 That the आपके विजुअलाइजेशन के साथ हिसाब से जाओ वी फील द गेम्स हैव बीन अ बिट मोर ट्रिकी सो इट्स बेटर टू गेट समथिंग बैक देन लूजिंग एवरीथिंग और एवरीथिंग अवे तो इफ यू हैव द सेम टाइप ऑफ लॉजिक देन यू कैन गो विद मिनी जेट्स और यस स्मॉल लीग्स इन द बॉल यस एब्सोल्युटली सो दैट्स द राउंड अप ऑफ आवर थॉट प्रोसेस फॉर दिस गेम एज वेल एज आवर बेस टीम नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शंस गो फॉर इट सर तो गोफरिद से याद आया मुझे शायद लास्ट गेम खेल रहे हैं ये तो जाने के पहले एक अच्छा तोहफा देखे जाए रहने के इसको अभी तक थ्री फॉर फोर फॉर तो काफ़ी बढ़िया होगा एंड देर आर इनफ पीपल फॉर हिम टू टारगेट तो देर इज़ नो शॉर्टेज ऑफ दैट एंड इज क्वालिटी आई थिंक समटाइम्स इट गाइज लाइक मुझे नबी एंड मोर अकील ऑल्सो यू नीड सम बिट ऑफ लक इज वेल बिकॉज ऑफन देव ब्रॉट इन इन अ टाइम वेन पीपल आर हैप्पी टू डिफेंड so they have the to get just fall in. <laughs> oh as <laughs> so, the wicket just falls and then they come in and bowl ha uh-huh, exactly so the situation becomes very important aapka visualization the combination is very important when you make people like muji be your captain or vice captain but i feel he could have a good day even akil could in that in that sense to so, renegade se aapke basic pick ho gaye from hurricanes i was very interested to see how fahim ashraf started but so far he hasn't looked in the kind of rhythm that you expect him to be in par mujhe lagta hai and now i don't know if ben dumat mcdumat qualifies as a uh, as a gl option but he's starting to get into that rhythm 
एंड वीव सीन बेन मैकडम वेन ही गेट्स इन टू द रिजम इन द लो सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द बी बी एल वो चलते जाते तो अनलेस ही गेट्स अ वेरी गुड बॉल बिग नॉक अगेंस्ट दिस टीम आल्सो बिल्कुल तो हिस्ट्री तो बोल रही है और अब तक का रीसेंट फॉर्म कह रहा है कि ही शुड बी बैटिंग बेटर तो जो शुरुआत का टाइम है अगर वो देख लेते हैं तो आई थिंक ही शुड हैव अ गुड गेम सो बेन मैकडमर्ड मुझे बोल रहा है मैं राइट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉल्स एंड मुजीब इज समवन आई कीप वाचिंग आउट फॉर टू सो होपफुली ही कम्स गुड इन दिस वन माय पिक्स आर वेरी सिचुएशनल दे विल एक्टिवेट ओनली इफ रेनेगेट बोल फर्स्ट एंड हरिकेन्स बोल सेकंड इफ इट्स द अदर वे अराउंड देन आई डोंट हैव एनी जीएल पिक्स फॉर दिस गेम बट इफ रेनेगेट्स बोल फर्स्ट केन रिचर्डसन कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन एंड हरिकेन्स वाइल बोलिंग सेकंड पैरी डूली कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन ही इज लुक वेरी एक्यूरेट एंड Yeah. Uh, renegades have a line of right-handers, and renegades are not known for their consistency with the bat either. So, yeah, I think cool. we can light it up. Yes. Yeah, and Nikhil, why to end to end this preview? I have one question to ask you, which even I want the answer for. Many people ask me this: that if the ball is on the roof, then what happens? Is it a dead ball? What happens? No, no. Eight runs are not enough for sure. But if you look at the I think it it is called a dead ball if I'm not wrong. But uh, अगर है तो we have 15 seconds. Let me just confirm that. Till that time we can talk about something else. Yes, so we'll confirm that for you because very very valid question. Every time the game happens at Docklands, and uh, Nikhil Bhai will tell us because he's <laughs> going to go there next year to watch the games. So ये साल वो confirmation लेके जाएंगे. Yes, so from what I Read on Fox Sports as well. Uh, when the roof is closed, any ball that hits part of the retractable section of the roof will be ruled a dead ball. Right. All other so, areas of the stadium roof or structure will be ruled a six. Okay. Right. So dead ball it is. Lot of dead balls going to be bowled to Martin Cup till tomorrow. Watch out and have a great <laughs> game. Jai Mataji. See you soon.